morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby and I'm rocking this today. My question today is simple. Do you have to do you have to qualify to have compassion for somebody? They have to meet a quota to have compassion for another human being, for you to have compassion for anybody. I'm getting attacked still on YouTube, but it's, it's the same old scumbags. Come on now. I got attacked hard again. And it was a rough start. <laughs> it was bad. People, when people don't understand, man, it's like a bunch of retarded fucking Jedi. That's the best way to put it. When you got toxic human beings running around thinking about another person and then that thought becomes an attack. And these idiots don't even realize what they're doing. So I got some asshole attacking me. He doesn't even know what the fuck he's doing. He ain't controlling nothing. But he's gonna feel it later. Because I tell people, when you attack somebody, when you think nasty thoughts about somebody, that 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 is exactly what karma is for. You're gonna get karma for that. And that's how that works. I try to tell people about energy and all this stuff. And I talked about compassion and how you should have compassion for people you don't even know. Like I said, I, I was sleeping in my vi at my van at um, Nye Beach for three days. I mean, I've been there a little bit long, right? But I was trying to make a sale and there was nothing going on. I didn't want to move before I got some gas money, but I couldn't. But anyway, my yesterday yesterday evening, some guys walked by and I could hear them talking. And he's like, oh, that's been there for a couple of days. That's illegal. I'm thinking, what a fucking piece of shit, right? You just look like an entitled asshole, but... It's like, what what qualifies for you to say, oh, well, I hope that person's okay. No, that, that needs to go. They shouldn't be there. That There's compassion that's lost in this world, people. And nobody seems to be tapping into it. Everybody's tapping into that fucking hate. Because they got a lot of that thrown out there, right? Everybody's full of that shit. Here's the thing. When you first see somebody and their first your first instinct is to go to hate and go to judgment... Oh, that's a piece of shit. Somebody living in their vehicle, they're just a drugged out scumbag. And I've heard people talk about other human beings like that. I'm having a conversation with people. And they talk, we talk about it. And their, their first instinct when they th think about somebody living in their vehicle is they're a drugged out asshole who deserved it. It's like, wow, you just have like zero. I'm like, I, I usually end up walking away really quick from those people because they're really full of hate and toxicity. And if your first instinct is to go to hate or to be mean to somebody or to type some bullshit to me, you know, you're a toxic human being. You got obviously you have issues you need to work on. And that's why my channel's here is to help people work on their stuff. I'm working on me and I'm doing good, baby. I'm doing good. I'm loving myself. I'm working hard on my art. I'm staying positive. I'm using my affirmations. I'm thanking God and the universe for everything I get. Even when it feels like I had the worst fucking headache on Father's Day. I mean, all day I was laid up with the migraine. It was bad. But I still was thanking God. I don't know. I'm like, yeah, okay, this is the lesson. This is, I, I, like I said, psychic attack. I was getting psychically attacked pretty bad, though, over Father's Day because that's a separate issue. I, had, I have people that hate me. And when they think about me, it's usually negative, so I get attacked like that. Like I said, a lot of retarded Jedi running around that don't know what the fuck they're doing with their thoughts and their, and their power. But I do. I do know what I'm doing with my power and my thoughts. And if you want to know about power and you want to know how to control your power, then watch my videos. They are fucking tutelages of fucking how to get your badass Jedi shit going. How to become the emperor or the empress of your universe. I mean, look at me. I mean, besides the assholes who are jealous of my... See that giraffe painting? Fucking Sunrise in Africa. Was that not badass? I'm telling you, man. I'm running my power. But I've earned it. I've done the work. So do the work. And don't be an asshole. <laughs> be a wonderful human being. Be the Jedi, not the retarded Jedi. We don't want the retarded Jedi. You know, Obi-Wan Kenobi's half-brother, Jethro. You know what I mean? You know, we don't want we don't retarded Jedi coming to the rescue because they're just they're, we already have retarded Jedi running the world. Okay? So toxic people shouldn't be in charge of anything. They should be in charge of healing themselves. That's it. Not in charge of YouTube or the government <laughs> or bombs or tanks or they're all fucking full-on retards, man. But you're not. I'm hope I'm rooting for you, babe. So this video is about finding your power, finding your compassion. Whew. Yeah. Being a good human being. Wow. Who would have thought, right? 
Anyways, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna go see some, get some sales going, see if I can't sell that Sunrise in Africa and rock it. Anyways, have a wonderful weekend. Okay, bye.